Welcome to Bartoldi Fountain and Gardens here at the United States Botanic Garden. I'm Deputy Executive Director Dr. Susan Pell and today we're going to talk about cherry flowers. We have two higgin cherries, Prunus subhertella species, that are in bloom today. Full bloom actually. One of them is this one here and it is what we call a double, meaning that it has extra whorls of petals. You can see that. More typically, cherries have five petals, but this one has quite a few, more than more than 10 or 10 or more at least. Now we have another one just across the way here. It's in also full bloom. And this one is a single, which basically means that it has a more typical five petals that you usually would see in cherries in the wild. So this is a little bit closer to the sort of wild type or the morphology that you would see in a wild uh, member of this species. If you'll bear with me, I'm going to switch to the macro lens. So using the macro lens, we can zoom in and really see some of the details of this flower. So as I said, it has those five petals, very typical of the genus Prunus. And on the back side of the flower, you can see here it has these little leaf-like structures called sepals. And let's look at the front again. Look at some of those reproductive structures. So that big knobby thing right there in the middle, that's the stigma, which is the top of the pistil, which is the female part of the flower. The long stalk underneath it's called the style. And at the base, there's a large ovary, which would become the cherry when this thing goes into fruit. These other structures that you see here with the little tiny nubs on them, these are the stamens or the male parts of the flower. The little top things are called anthers. That's where the pollen is made. And they're born on those long stalks that's called a filament. And that's the basic morphology of prunus flowers. They're members of the rose family, and the rose family has many members that have five petals, multiple stamens, and a single pistil in the middle. Thank you for joining me today to talk about prunus flowers. I look forward to our continued botanical adventures.